So class E can start at 1,200 feet. This is normally where class E starts at. And the way you know that it starts at 1,200 feet is that there's no other depiction on a VFR sectional chart, like the image to my right, of any other kind of airspace. So that's when class E starts at 1,200 feet above ground level. Again, it's not depicted on a VFR sectional chart. So if you see no other airspace around, you're dealing with class E starting at 1,200 feet. And it also extends over a large amount of the United States because you have areas of the U.S., actually a whole lot of areas, where airports are not located, and therefore some kind of airspace has to be there. And typically that's going to be class E. Again, everywhere else. You can then have class E starting at 700 feet. Now it's just a little bit lower. That shelf of class E has gone down by 500 feet. So this is class E starting at 700 feet above ground level. And it's depicted by a magenta vignette. So the image to my right Inside that magenta vignette, that magenta shaded circle, class E no longer starts at 1,200 feet, but now starts at 700 feet. And again, it's still above ground level, even though we've dropped 500 feet. So inside the magenta shading, 700 feet. Outside of it, it would start at 1,200 feet. This class E airspace is known as a transition area for instrument flight rules operations, also known as IFR operations. This is to help with the safety of manned aircraft that are coming in to specific airports. A lot of the times you will see this Class E airspace surrounding non-towered airports, such as Elbert County. Now, how do I know it's a non-towered airport? It's simple. It's magenta. Anytime you see an airport with the magenta symbol, such as the one in, this, in the image, you're dealing with a non-towered airport. A controlled airport would be the color blue. So, towered is blue. Non-towered is magenta. Uncontrolled versus controlled. Controlled is blue, which means it actually has a control tower. Also, Class E at 700 feet does not require ATC clearance to operate an unmanned aircraft system within it. It doesn't require it. So if I'm inside that magenta shaded circle flying my drone, I do not need authorization to fly in there. I don't have to get authorization from the FAA or ATC. I'm clear to fly in that airspace. We now even go lower. We now start at the surface for this Class E airspace. So Class E starting at the surface is depicted by a magenta dashed line. Inside that magenta dashed line, Class E is going to start at the surface. Class E starting at the surface is controlled airspace, which means it requires ATC authorization to fly unmanned aircraft systems within it. So, if we are inside that magenta dashed circle, inside of it, we do have to get approval to fly our unmanned system in that circle. So that's Class E starting at the surface. Because Class E starts at the surface there, we are not in uncontrolled airspace. We're not in Class G. The other classes of E, we were below it. So we could fly there without getting authorization. But obviously here, we're not below Class E. We're inside of Class E. So we do require authorization from ATC. Now, let's look in the next video at the different altitudes 
on a VFR sectional chart for Class E airspace.